Start recording. Speech off. Hey guys, the Bopit Extreme that you've seen throughout my videos is broken. <laughs> it's broken. <laughs> okay, let me explain. The spinning, I told you, broke. Now look here. We'll listen. And let's try and play it. Beep bop, solo, box bop, beep bop, box bop, solo. See, the rest of the commands work. High score. Flick it works. Flick it works. Wait, and that's the point I was telling you about. You feel this right here? I mean, you hear this? Ugh. Either it sounds like I've been too rough with it, or the fact mm, that it's a used one. Ooh. Ooh. Dang it. Whoa. I'm trying to see if I can try to. Yeah. Well, there we go. Well, there's some improvement. You see, it's broken now. I can't even spin it without it, without spinning it a little bit. I can't really spin it. Oh, dang it. Oh, dang it. Dang. This is what I get for getting used to electronic games. What I get. Okay, right there and over here. Okay, I can feel the, the command for the flick it because that's where the flick it is, but the spin it, I feel like down here. This is supposed to flick. This is supposed to move up and down when the spin it spins. Like. See, now I want to spin. Because now, feel this. I can't even get it working. This is how. This is how kind of weird it is. And once I do get it working, beep bop, solo, box bop, beep bop, box bop, solo. Let's try playing it and I'll show you what I mean. Oh, I see. Dang it. This bop it is... This is about as good as I can get it right now. Because, look at it. See, it's not even registering more than this. I tried to get it back to normal, but uh, it just isn't working out for me.
feel fucking good. Game over. Score. Okay, if I feel a little bit closer, this spinet is broke. Or right here. No, it doesn't even want to spin. All right, this is about the pretty much end of my video. Whoa. Whoops. Oh my, look at this. I think I just broke it completely. Look at this. Throw it. I think I just broke it. Completely. Oh my god, look at this. Ooh, look at this. Oh my gosh. There's a little piece that would go into it. Feel this. This is how it is right now because you feel it. It's got something on the inside. It has something on the inside of it. Okay, there was something on the other side. Okay. Ooh, more pieces. Oh, wait, you don't. Don't get out of my sight. There's an actual something inside of here. Yep. This box it definitely wasn't clean. I tell you. Don't drop, don't drop. Alright, so, according to what I gathered, this is what went into this side. And then this is what went into the other side. So apparently, one of these pieces broke off, and this is where the spinning was. Okay, so this is, this is the spinning wheel. I can tell right now that this bopping is definitely, it wasn't very clean at all. So if I basically, I believe if this went in here, I don't know. I think it went inside here. And then, well, what happened is, this thing would go in like this. Something like that. This bop is definitely one in coin. Ugh. Ugh. 
Well, it was played with by a kid, so. Well, so I finally found out how this spinner works. Hang on a second, you know. Now. Yeah. Okay, hang on a second, guys, I'll be right back. I'm doing a video. Doing a video. Alright guys. Okay. What I found out about that poppet is that on the inside, it's either not very clean because someone put something in it, like a lollipop or something. Well, I don't know what, because the inside of that poppet wasn't very clean. I gotta tell you. The inside of that bobbit, yeah, it's, it's, it's old, trust me, <laughs> it's like 20 years old. So basically I found out what makes this spinet work. Okay, so you got a wheel, the wheel on the spinet, and you want to have this thing that goes in between it, that connects to it, and that's what's broken on it. That's what was broken on it. And another thing is that not only that, is that on the inside, it's a little bit dirty, so that's why I wash my hands, so. It's a little bit, it's a little bit dirty to work with, so. Couldn't fix it. Don't even want to try to fix it. Because, it, no, it doesn't have any nails or screws or anything. It just has this thing that goes inside of it, what connects to it, that you would really have to really be careful. Cause it's not that clean in there. So, whenever you get a used bop it, be sure to wash your hands whenever you're done looking in the inside of it. Because you never know what it, what what's inside of a bop it that that's been used for like maybe 20 years or been around for 20 years. Cause yeah, that that bop it definitely was used in. Yeah, definitely was able to break easy in. Yeah, that bop that bop it is totally not. Um. Um, completely accessible anymore. I think what I'm gonna do is put it over here. Because when I smell my hand, I was like, yeah, more like lollipop in there. It's more like someone put something sticky in there because it was a little bit slimy, grossed out, stinky on the inside. So yeah, it wasn't no good. A guy played with it, unfortunately. And now I'm for sure probably going to get a brand new bop it. I don't know who's going to get it for me. I don't know if I'm going to even order one. I think that's what I'm going to uh, have to do is to order a new bop it extreme, possibly a brand new one in the box so I don't have to worry about the hassle of getting a used one and see if it's clean on the inside or not because when I went to that bop it, spin it just to see if I can get all the commands out you know, all the uh, stuff out of it <laughs> that was inside of it. Uh, it wasn't a pretty sight, let me tell you. It wasn't a very great thing to do because number one, the bop it. In its time, the bop it extreme served as a very fun game. But this time, in 2018, Bop it extremes, yes, all worth it. But do you think that a used one is worth it here in 2018 because of the year 1998, 2018? 98 plus, I mean, 98 minus 18. So what does that give you? 20 years? 78 years? What? What's it? 78, 90. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That's 20 years. Gives you 20 years, so 
a 20 year old bought it. What, what are my thoughts? Well, it used to work, but until I accidentally hit it, that's when it actually broke. That's when it actually couldn't hold up and it broke and, well, it, it would great for a while, but I wouldn't say it's the best alternative to a boppet that you really, really want. Now, if you wanted, if you planning to get an uh, extreme boppet, make sure it's in very good condition, cleaned out even. Like, make sure to clean out the boppet first because, I mean, make sure to, uh, like, you know, get inside there and get inside all the commands and try to see if you can clean out all the parts and whatnot because it, it, it just didn't worth it just to get dirty, seeing if you can try to fix it. it. It's not good. And yes, a kid has played with it because obviously a kid bought it back in the 1990s, 1998 from, I guess, um, KB Toys because that was a small place. I believe KB Toys had these games back in the 90s. Like the original Bop It in fact, I don't even know what the inside of an original one looks like. Yeah, I wouldn't even want to know. Yeah. I mean, so yeah, I know what makes the spinning click. See, there's this thing that connects. Okay. So, it is supposed to... What the thing is supposed to do is that there's something that makes it cl Like, you know... There's some that makes a little thing click back and forth. And that's what makes the spinning work. There's like something in there that makes it work. There's a lever that it goes across and then it, it's mechanical. So basically you have the wheel and you have something that connect that you can put inside of it. You can put something inside the hole. And then that's how it connects. And then what happens next is that this lever, it, it, automatic, it automatically goes back into place. So it's like a lever thing that kind of goes back and forth when you spin it. I, I know what it is now. So you basically have this thing where you, when you spin it, the thing goes back and forth and that's what makes the sound of the spin it when it's real good. But one thing I noticed before it broke completely, like non-functional, the fact that it was a bit looser was not good. Because I was playing it and it was, it was spinning fine I believe. And then, all of a sudden, when I was playing it, I kind of felt it kind of broke. I was like, oh my gosh. Well, once again, it's an old bop it, and I don't blame, I don't blame it. I mean, it, the command wore out. Uh, the flick it's kind of loose. The pull it, I don't even know about the twist it, it's kind of loose. The bop it been bopped, it's been twisted, it's been pulled, it's been spun, and it's been flicked a lot of times. So, I would like to say, rest in peace, Boppin' Extreme. <laughs> rest, R.I.P. to the Boppin' Extreme. Yeah. It's not my personal Boppin' Extreme because I got it off of, like, you know, eBay or something, I don't know. But it was used, and it was the only thing that the, the person who got it from me could have, uh, probably could afford. I don't know. But I guess they just decided to get me a used one. Yeah, it worked for a while. But I'd say it's time to get a brand new one. Just to have a refresher. You know, just have a fresh, clean, yeah, well... Sometimes new ones are dirty. I mean, 
I mean, the packaging could be dirty because, well, you know, someone had it up there probably in an attic or something. I don't know. But, yeah. I still got the bag that the bop it was in. But it was owned by a guy. So, boys often play rough with that stuff. I do too. I had my first bop it show, and I believe it still works. It still works. The first Bop It XT that I ever had, it's gone. I had two Bop It Extreme 2s. The first one I remember I was going to show you, but it died. I mean, it broke completely. Batteries wouldn't work. Second Bop It Extreme 2, it works. The, uh, the first Bop It Extreme I got, used one. Second Bop It Extreme, I believe it's going to be a new one. So... So basically, yeah. So anyway, guys, I'm done, practically. Yes, see you in a while.